Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so in this episode, we're going to be doing a little bit of sanding, a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of painting. You know the drill. Um, most all the parts are pretty clean, but they're not super flat, so we're just going to be sanding them down. You can see Dima helping us out here. Um, I think I started with 400 grit, went to 600 grit. Uh, not looking for a super mirror finish here, but uh, we want everything as flat as we can get it. There are a lot of pieces to sand. This took a while. Uh, these are the handles. Uh, I decided it'd probably be smart to go ahead and polish these up before we masked everything off and painted it. Um, uh, you can see here I'm using 400 grit sandpaper and 600 grit, kind of same as everything else. Uh, I also used some aluminum polish. I think it's Mother's Aluminum Polish. This is steel, but it seemed to work just fine. Nice and shiny. And I keep finding parts that still have a little bit of grease and dirt in them. Uh, grease and oil is the enemy of paint, so everything's got to be wiped down and nice and clean. Uh, here you see me masking. We're going to be doing a lot of masking this episode. Uh, if you guys are curious about this orange masking tape, uh, it's made by American. It's literally the American brand. Um, really high quality stuff. Uh, definitely better than the blue painter's tape you find at Home Depot. Uh, it's a little more expensive, definitely worth the investment though. Uh, sticks a lot better, it gives you a nice sharp edge. You can see I'm using an X-Acto knife here as well. I think I changed the blade on this thing four or five times during this process just to make sure I was getting nice sharp edges. Probably the most important part about the masking job. You know, take your time on it, it's, uh, it's worth the investment. You'll always see that line once you're done painting if, uh, if you didn't quite mask it off the way you wanted it to, so take your time, it's worth it. More dirty parts. Uh, I'm using some degreaser here. <laughs> it's always surprising at this point uh, in the process when I pick up a part and there's still grease on it. So everything's got to be clean. See me using an air compressor here to get all the little nooks and crannies. That, that makes a big difference. Makes things go a lot faster too. Yeah, it probably looks like it goes by pretty quick in the video, but this take this takes quite a while. I think this was maybe three or four days, uh, you know, after work days to uh, to mask all this. Not not that I'm complaining. <laughs> it was actually a lot of fun. Be kind of in a Zen mindset when you're doing this. Uh. Oh man, this piece gave me so many problems. First, uh, it's full of oil. I totally forgot it was full of oil. Went to turn it upside down and it all came leaking out. So you can see here I'm, I'm draining the oil out. If you guys have any suggestions for what to put back in this, I, I don't think they make the oil that uh, is, is called out in the manual for this thing anymore. So if you have any suggestions, definitely let me know in the comments. You can see I finally got fed up with the messy table here and started organizing things a little bit. That makes a big difference. Uh, you know, I should probably be doing that a lot earlier than I do it, but uh, every time I get things nice and clean, I, I work a lot more efficiently. Uh, you can see here I'm using a razor blade to scrape off some of this paint. Uh, this top piece, uh, the paint really wasn't stuck on very well. I'm not sure if it was painted from the factory or not. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and paint it, but the paint that was on here came up really easily. There's a plate on the front of this gearbox that you'll see in a little while that's uh, pretty beat up. Um, I was just trying to clean it up as much as I could before I put the masking on. I actually put the masking on this time just to protect it while I sanded it because uh, I didn't want it to get any more beat up than it already was. You'd see Ryan there working in the background on the mini lathe. <laughs> I guess he had a project that just couldn't wait. I'm laying out some uh, some tarp here. <laughs> I didn't even realize I had some stashed away in the back of the garage. I probably should have done this the first time I painted, but uh, there you go. Just trying to cut down a little bit on overspray. I'm spraying everything here with uh, Duplicolor Automotive Primer Series. It's the uh, self-etching kind. Um, I finally found a local place that sold something other than Rust-Oleum. This Duplicolor did pretty good and I was pretty impressed with it. Uh, definitely far better than the uh, Rust-Oleum crap. Yeah, here's, uh, here's one of the plates I was talking about. Uh, all the letters on this are raised a little bit, so I was just taking a piece of fine grit sandpaper to the surface of it, which uh, brought out the, the text a lot better, but they're, they're still pretty beat up, so if you guys have any suggestions on, uh, on how to really refurbish these, I may end up just going and painting them by hand, but uh, definitely leave a comment below if you have a better idea. You're now watching Paint Dry. <laughs> like I said, this thing was a bit of a bear to move around. I think this thing weighs like 70, 80 pounds. So here we are, finally putting on the top coat. Uh, if you guys didn't catch our live broadcast of this, go ahead and check that out. I posted it. It's about 45 minutes long, definitely longer than my normal videos, but uh, well worth it. We go into a lot more detail uh, on the process, and you can you can see what it takes in real time. So check that out if you haven't already. Uh, but it is definitely cool to watch it happen in time-lapse mode here. See Dima running around with a cell phone. And yes, there was overspray on everything, including the camera, including the cell phone, but uh, a little bit of clay bar pulled it right off. You'd see I'm moving parts back and forth while Ryan paints. Not the most ideal situation, but it definitely uh, cut down on any of the overspray sticking to fresh paint, so that was, that was worth the effort. <laughs> this is my favorite part, you know, taking off all the masking tape. It's kind of like opening presents at Christmas. I think everything turned out really well. So, uh, while I'm finishing up doing this, I think I just want to, you know, thank you guys really for for checking out the series and subscribing. Uh, it means a lot. You know, the information that I've gotten from you guys, I, I've learned quite a bit throughout this process. So, thanks so much for your comments. Really, really appreciate that. And if uh, if you're a new subscriber, you know, check out the rest of the series. Appreciate you sticking with it, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot, guys.